What's up, everybody? It's Thursday, October 18th, and this is episode 67 of the Daily Comic. I'm Jimmy Bird. This is a show in which I read one comic book a day and then come here and tell you what I thought about that comic. A spoiler-free review for an already spoiled world. Today's comic will be Shuri, Shuri, Issue 1. Shuri, Issue 1, put out by Marvel, written by Nnedi Okorafor. I can't pronounce her first name right. Uh, Okorafor. And we'll just call her Dr. Okorafor because she is a PhD. Um, she is um, a science fiction writer. She has written many books. Binti is probably her most well-known book. She wrote a book, Who Fears Death, has just recently been optioned um, by HBO. Other than her biography, I don't know much about her. I know this is a dream casting job to get Dr. Okorafor to write a book for Shuri. It's like getting ta Coates to write Black Panther. It's just a dream kind of scenario where you think you get the perfect mind and vision, visionary, to kind of set forth this vision um, for these characters. So it's very, very cool to have Dr. Okorafor writing this. Uh, Leonardo Romero doing art. Jordi Belair is on the art team too. Cover is very beautiful. Very realistic in style. Once you get inside, the art is much different. Um, try to get a picture of that. Get that in there on the camera. It has a very nice kind of 80s nostalgic feel. Almost an independent kind of artistic feel. And it took a minute for me to get used to it because of that very r rich, new stylistic tone of the cover. But the art is great. Very, very enjoyable. And the story is great as well. So Shuri is Shuri. And if you know anything about Shuri, she's the sister of Black Panther. She is what I think just came out in some sort of interview with dealing with the Marvel Cinematic Universe is considered now the most intelligent or smartest um, person in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We saw her technology in the movie of Infinity War. We're getting more accustomed through the movies to this character, but in the comics, she's been around for a long time. She's even had the mantle of Black Panther for a moment as well when uh, T'Challa could not take on the role for any other reason. She was Black Panther. So here we get a snapshot of Wakandan life. We get a great issue number one to set forward into the next story. We get this great kind of... Um, empowering scenario near the end um, kind of this thing that's been going on this entire time in Wakanda kind of expanding the Wakandan universe if they could even do so um, this takes place in the intergalactic nation of Wakanda so if you've been reading Black Panther uh, it's no longer just the nation of Wakanda but they're intergalactic now they are have moved past just their country in Africa and they're now set their sights on not just global but intergalactic, um, con whatever the word is, adventure, if you will. So um, there is an intergalactic theme to this, but Shuri's story stays solely rooted in um, Wakanda. Uh, some great uh, texture. Um, they've kind of they've hinted at some kind of um, side characters that's going with her on this and uh, in, uh, introducing some new characters not necessarily sidekicks but definitely introduce some roles that we can kind of foreshadow is going to have a big part of what's going on in the future in this comic book so um the child leaves and has to go on a long trip and they're not sure when she gets back when he gets back and now sure he has to figure out what to do in that absence she she kind of feels responsible for why he's gone and why he has not come back to Wakanda yet. So she's kind of dealing with that turmoil. So anyway, very good, very, very good first issue. Um, very well written. Um, very timely, if you will. I, I loved reading this first issue. I think the Black Panther fans are going to be happy. I think uh, this is a great book for young ladies to read. I think men will like this comic book also. I think they know their audience though and that's very important to do. So I really enjoyed Shuri issue one. Man that cover is just great. It's just great. So did you read Shuri issue one? What did you think about it? Am I totally off base? 
with my little five minute review. You can let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, share. I'll see everybody tomorrow with another comic. Have a great day.